the crew. It's going to cost a dollar. It costs a dollar. Pat Barrow is talking. You might know him from, um, some of you may have had him as an engineering judge at one point. He's waving, making announcements. Got some other folks that I think look familiar from 05 and 06. Chris. Yeah, the diving team is here. If you publish this, Zorn, he needs a royal royalty. I'm going to have the, um, the waivers. I'll be back to get you to sign them. Okay. <laughs> They are serious, but as you can tell, they can have fun too. Yeah. Not this guy. No, he's not allowed. No, he's very serious. I'm going to walk down this way. I promise I'll do my best not to veer off into the pool, okay? It'd be a bad thing. Yeah, so they do have fun, uh, but they are very serious. And again, safety is paramount. So now we're down at the end where the Explorer, tap, Explorer class teams will participate. Lots of Nitrox dive tanks. And again, this end of the pool. So there are mock-ups and other pieces of equipment in the pool. We'll definitely make sure that there's a clear area for Explorer class teams to work on, although there are bound to be some mock-ups or, or some equipment still around the area. So just looking across the pool. Heading back down. This will be a good quiz for, for Pat and the gang. What are the dimensions of the pool? Come back down and ask them. All right, so important question. Dimensions of the pool. I know it's 40 feet deep. 102 by 202. 102 by 202 feet. Yep. Lots of water. 6 point six point two two million. You have to know those things when you work here. Every 19 hours. Wow. We suck in a few divers occasionally. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> What's the temperature? About 86, 87. So it's nice. Although, no, no, nobody can get in the water. And, and only certified NBL divers can get in the water and dive. More of those have a lot of money. <laughs> no, no, don't even go no, there. Hi, there's Kevin Montgomery. Some of you may have had Kevin as your engineering evaluation judge. That's right. He'll be taking a year off because he's going to do some deck operations. You may be happy or sad about that, depending on your experience with Kevin everybody, and his scores. Uh, everybody will be extremely disappointing. I'm not putting uh, <laughs> on my judging issues. All right, we're moving on. Thanks, guys. So one of the things um, that you have hopefully picked out of the competition specs. Is the fact that divers cannot be in the water when your ROVs are operating, or you could look at it the other way, your ROVs cannot be operating when divers are in the water. So that is why, again, if you read the rules and the specs, there is no mission performance period diver support. You get stuck on the bottom, you're there until the mission performance period ends, power everything down and a diver can come and, and help you out of that situation. Just something to be aware of. And hopefully, like I said, you caught that in the mission specs and information before I just told you. All right, so we'll take a look over, over the edge and into the South High Bay. 
So a sea of tables. And if you were here, you could smell the pizza that we had for lunch. Again, lunch will be, those doors will be raised and we'll have box lunches brought in. Um, the engineering evaluation rooms are downstairs. Maybe I can show you a couple of those a little bit later, although they're being used right now. And uh, we just confirmed this, but what we're gonna do this year is a little bit different. We are gonna have you bring and set up your poster displays at the Space Center of Houston during the kickoff reception. You'll set them up. We're actually gonna do a little, um, have you be at your poster for a certain time slot so the judges can make their rounds and talk with you. All of the judges, not just the poster judges, no poster judging will actually be going on at the time. But it'll just be a chance for the judges to meet you and you to meet them and talk with them in an informal setting. Um, fun with some good food and good atmosphere. So the, uh, where, well, you might be asking where will your workstation be shut, set up? That will be in the, what's called the LMF, Light Manufacturing Facil Facility, here at the NBL, and I'll see if I can give you a view of that in just a bit. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up here and see if I can show you a couple other rooms. I'll head back down the gurney ramp and see if I can show you the LMF and um, maybe one or two of the engineering bell rooms if they're open. Alrighty.